back in the classroom, hard at work. So how do these Year 13 pupils feel about the fact exams are back? I'm having so many different emotions about it, like I feel happy, I feel sad, and then I also feel nervous and anxious about it. It's quite important to me to be able to sit the exams because it allows me to go, these are what I deserve. It's a bit like scary still because you're going to be in a, in a room with people and you don't know where they've been and COVID and everything, it's a bit stressful and I'm a bit like, oh. This pandemic's just been a nightmare <laughs> for in so many ways. So, yeah, it's, it's out of our hands, really. To make up for the disruption, GCSE and A-level students in England will now be given information about what topics will appear. For the past two years, exams have been cancelled due to COVID. So this year will be the first time pupils have had to take them since 2019. It's hoped that by giving them some information about what will be in the exams, they'll be better able to prepare. Examiners will also be asked to grade the papers more generously than in previous years to account for the pandemic. It's not about making grades easier. It's about reflecting the, the, the tough period that students have been through and the fact that in some cases they will have faced disruption. And so it's about you know, making sure that exams are adjusted to be as fair as possible to the majority of students. So your experiences? Last year, students were given marks based on teacher assessments. Many schools now welcome the return of exams. We need to get back to normality and I think students want to get back to normality and they've had two years of real difficulty and students have been a bit of a mix around it in terms of anxieties around the exams but I think actually overwhelmingly they want to prove that they can do the things that, that they're being asked to do. Not everyone likes exams but they're a sign that normal school life is returning and many pupils will celebrate that. Leila Hayes, 5 News, Norfolk.